सो फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ फॉर चैप्टर सिक्स दैट इज डब्ल्यू पी एस और वेल्डर क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट विल स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री बिकॉज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड टू बेसिकली वेर बिलोंगिंग टू वेल्डर क्वालिफिकेशन सो दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन लेटर एंड देन आई विल आस्क दो क्वेश्चन सो विल स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री स्टेट अवे क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आस्क डब्ल्यू पी क्यू आर मीन्स सो दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन एंड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑल्सो डब्ल्यू पी क्यू आर इज वेल्डिंग प्रोसीजर क्वालिफिकेशन रिकॉर्ड सो ऑप्शन ए इज वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस क्वालिफिकेशन रिकॉर्ड ऑप्शन बी इज वेल्डिंग प्रोसीजर क्वालिफिकेशन रिकॉर्ड ऑप्शन सी इज वेल्डिंग प्रोसीजर क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर रिटेस्ट ऑप्शन डी इज नॉन ऑफ द एब सो द आंसर विल बी वेल्डिंग प्रोसीजर क्वालिफिकेशन रिकॉर्ड डब्ल्यू पी क्यू आर मीन्स वेल्डिंग प्रोसीजर क्वालिफिकेशन रिकॉर्ड दैट इज बी ना क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अ क्वालिफाइड वेल्डिंग प्रोसीजर स्पेसिफिकेशन इज यूज टू गिव इंस्ट्रक्शन टू द वेल्डर गिव इंफॉर्मेशन टू द वेल्डिंग इंस्पेक्टर गिव कॉन्फिडेंस दैट फिनिश्ड वेल्ड विल हैव द स्पेसिफाइड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑल ऑफ द एब आई एम गिविंग वन सेकेंड प्लीज थिंक एंड आंसर so the answer is nothing but d see a welding qualified welding procedure specification gives instruction to the welder yes the welder reads the wps and he uses those ranges which are given in the wps during their production welding it also gives information to the welding inspector whenever the welding inspector starts inspection of the welding first he needs to verify that wps then he can start the inspection so it gives information to the welding inspector also option c is give confidence that finished welds have the specified properties so this is also true a welding qualified wps always gives a good confidence that the finished weld will have the specified property hence d is our answer now question number 5 a welding procedure that is prepared to give guidance for making a weld procedure qualification qualification test weld is a so it is nothing but it is a pwps pwps is written at the very start why it is written <coughs> because it is written, uh, because it gives a preliminary guidance for making the final weld procedure qualification test after writing pws you start the weld, uh, welding of test coupon then the other activities are done to qualify that pws now question number 6 according to en 287 a welder's approval or qualification certificate should be withdrawn if so this i have not explained during my video lecture series but for the time being i'll give you the answer the answer will be b he has been absent from work for a period of 7 month means if a welder is absent or if a welder is not doing welding for a period of 7 month then his qualification shall be withdrawn or he needs to give a fresh qualification test now question number 7 changing essential variable beyond the allowed ranges for a qualified welding procedure may change the mechanical properties of the joint may adversely affect the quality of the weld will require a new welding procedure to be approved all of the above so let's go one by one the question is if you are going to change the essential vari variable then so as i have explained in my video lecture also if you change the essential variable it would have a significant effect on the mechanical properties means a is true now option b is saying that may adversely affect the quality of the weld yes it is true if the there will be a change in mechanical properties then the quality of the weld will be also affected now option c will require a new welding procedure to be approved yes whenever you have to change the essential variable beyond the allowed range you need to requalify the wps so requalify the wps is nothing but new welding procedure to be approved means that should be approved separately by a fresh press uh, procedure qualification test so d will be the answer now question number 8 a welding procedure is useful to 
गिव इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द वेल्डर गिव इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द इंस्पेक्टर गिव कॉन्फिडेंस टू अ प्रोडक्ट डी ऑल ऑफ द एव सो आई एक्सप्लेन जस्ट फ्यू मिनिट्स अर्लियर and the answer will be d all of the above yes it gives information to the welder it gives information to the inspector and it also gives a confidence to the product now question number 8 an essential variable may change the property of the weld influence the mechanical properties of the weldment require re approval of the weld procedure d all of the above i'll give you a second please answer this question so the answer will be nothing but d all of the above because change in essential variable change the properties of the metal this is true it also influence the mechanical properties yes there if there is change in the mechanical properties means it is influencing the mechanical properties third one is require re approval of the weld procedure yes absolutely yes whenever you have to change the essential variable beyond the acceptable range you need to requalify that welding procedure so d will be the answer now question number 10 in welding procedure term a change in essential variable means so this is a similar question let's read the answer requalification of the welding procedure possible change in welds microstructure possible change in the mechanical properties d all of the above answer will be d all of the above now question number 11 under normal contract conditions weld procedure approval test for pipe work r see whenever you have to start production welding either it is piping either it is uh, pressure vessel either it is fabrication whenever you have to start the welding you have to you have to have a qualified wps means this is a mandatory work so the answer will be a mandatory the majority of welding welder qualification test are carried out using unbacked joint this is because so this i, I have not explained during the video lecture series but since you guys are qualified or you guys are have little experience in welding so you might be able to answer this question the answer is uh, options are it is quicker cheaper if back arching is not required if the welding process is not tick back purging not required all welder qualification test are done on so small diameter pipe and the d h it requires more skill and increases the welder qualification range so answer will be d see with backing it is very easy but if you are using an unbacked joint it always requires more skill and it increases the welder qualification range also so d is the answer now question number 13 the principal purpose of a carrying the principal purpose of carrying out a welding procedure approval test is what is the purpose of carrying out a welding procedure approval test option is to show that the mechanical properties of the weldment satisfy the specified requirement yes this is one of the you know purpose of carrying out welding procedure approval test option 2 to demonstrate to the client that the fabricator has good control of welding operations no this is not a right option option c is to ensure that the ndt requirement specified can be no this is also not correct to allow a welder to practice using the wps that will be used for production welding no this is this concept is also wrong hence our answer will be a to show that the mechanical properties of the weldment satisfy the specified requirement now question number 14 a welder qualified in the 6g position would normally be qualified for welding so this is a very common question and the answer is if a welder is qualified in 6g position then normally in most of the courts that welder will be allowed to weld in all positions hence let's see the answer all diameter pipes all metals in all position for butt welds and fillet welds and d is all of the above so the answer will be in all positions for butt welds and fillet welds c will be the answer now question number 15 welding procedures must be qualified because 
why welding procedure is qualified so the answer is the welder needs to practice before production begins no this is not the right answer to prove prove that the vendity method can locate defect this is also not right to prove that the fabricator can control welding no to ensure that the joint properties satisfy the specification yes this is the correct answer this is the reason for carrying out a welding procedure or to qualify the welding procedure now Uh, 16 question number 16 a welder and procedure requalification would be required so this is asking for both welder qualification as well as procedure qualification that is wps qualification why these two are required so when the run out date of procedure has been reached every year when changing from day to night shift or when there is a change in an essential variable please think an answer so the question is asking why requalification of procedure or requalification of welder so these requalification are needed whenever there is a change in the essential variable in both the cases now finally we have moved to question number 17 and the question number 17 is which of the following are essential variables for pwst for pwst which variable are you know essential heating rate temperature at end cooling rate all of the above see whenever you are doing pwst there should be control heating control soaking control cooling hence all these three are essential variables so the answer will be d all of the above now question number 18 why is a weld procedure qualification test necessary option a to ensure the welder is able to make sound welds meeting the requirements of the agreed welding procedure option b to ensure the welder satisfy the ndt and mechanical requirements of the specification option c is to give maximum confidence that the variables used for welding are compatible and will produce sound welds meeting the requirement of the agreed specification option d to give a guarantee that defect free welds will be produced so friends i would request you all to write the answer of this question and friends i would like to tell you one more thing that so far i have completed five chapters and in all the chapters i have asked some question from you from the viewers but it is very disappointing that you guys have not given sufficient answer means i am not i am not getting significant number of answers in the comment box friends please if you have to if you want to continue with me this series then you have to do two things first you have to watch the full video and second thing you have to write all the answers which i am asking from you in the comment box these are mandatory then only i'll be able to continue this series so friends i hope you will enjoy this video and also i would expect that my videos would really help you in your career growth or in your promotions or it will be helpful for your knowledge so thank you very much